SensorDAC is a small, low-cost USB data acquisition device co-developed by Vernier Software and Technology and National Instruments. SensorDAC was designed to make acquiring data from Vernier sensors extremely easy while adding the versatility of a screw terminal so that the user can provide external wiring, do circuitry, and auxiliary inputs and outputs. The screw terminal consists of two analog inputs, an analog output, four digital input outputs, a 5-volt line, several ground lines, and a counter. It should be noted that the counter can be used to count events, to do timing as a digital trigger, and also to do pulse generation outputs. Vernier digital sensors can be used in the digital sensor connector. All of the Vernier digital sensors work in, in this connector. Vernier digital sensors have a connector that's called a BTD connector. This allows simple connection to the sensor DAC device. Digital sensors include the motion detector, this is the motion detector, rotary motion, photogate, radiation monitor, digital control unit, and a few others. The analog sensors, of which there are around 50 Vernier analog sensors, have a BTA connector. There's three connections in the sensor DAC, and again, it's just simply clicking in the sensor. The analog sensors also have a smart technology so that the sensor DAC in software can communicate with the sensor, determine what sensor is connected, and automatically configure the calibration coefficients. The software required for SensorDAC is LabVIEW. This includes LabVIEW Student Edition. Getting started with SensorDAC is easy. Use the user manual that comes with the unit and follow the steps. It's basically a matter of loading your LabVIEW software, loading the USB driver software. This is National Instruments NI DAC-MX software. This is included with SensorDAC on a CD and you can find it on the National Instruments website. Once you have the software loaded, you need to load our examples. The examples include driver software in LabVIEW. Once you have all the software loaded, it's a matter of uh, plugging the sensor DAC into your USB cable. The sensor DAC has a green LED on the top that shows that the sensor DAC is communicating with the computer. You'll get the flashing green LED if not something is wrong with the loading of your NI DAC MX software and you'll need to reinstall. Once you have the LabVIEW software and the USB driver software loaded, start up your LabVIEW software, find the examples that we've supplied, and run the examples. These include examples for the digital sensors, analog sensors, and the screw terminals. You can run these examples and use LabVIEW to customize them according to what your experiment is. Go to engineering.vernier.com to find more sample LabVIEW code, information about Vernier sensors, and projects to use in engineering education.